what's up what's up back again with another video well not really I'm actually just continuing this review but wanted to make a separate uh, video just for this wallet only I didn't want to do a review or an unboxing I guess with uh, the five card holder wall the five card holder and the uh, slim wallet uh, which I bought from Rose Leather Crafting at his uh, Etsy shop. Anyway, so let's uh, let's open this up. So just like the five card holder, just your basic gift wrapping paper. Um, pretty simple, but that doesn't really matter. What really matters is what's inside. So let's open it up. Bam! There it is. So this is the uh, slim wallet, which, quite frankly, is really slim. I've actually uh, already tried this out, put some cash and some cards in it, and it was I was really, really surprised on how thin it was with all the cards that I use on a daily basis. For cash wise, I really don't use cash that much, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's just nice to have. Um, I have another uh, bifold wallet, which I'll talk about in another video and do a comparison on it. Uh, let's just say that wallet, when empty, it's it's thin, but once you start putting cards. And cash, oh man, that thing just bulks up, it gets thick. Um, anyway, so let me know if you guys want me to do a comparison video on that. Uh, don't want to say the company yet because this review or this unboxing is all about this wallet, which I really, really like. Um, it's really thin. Finally, I found a uh, wallet that's really thin and doesn't really add too much bulk once you have cards in there uh, just like the five card holder um, cappuccino leather with uh, red thread and actually the red thread is growing on me now I actually kinda like it but damn I should have gotten the uh, white thread or black thread doesn't really matter but preferably the white one um, I do like it actually uh, look at the stitching uh, saddle stitch it looks really clean really nice and uniform very well done that looks really good and there's his logo which I prefer the logo to be in the inside of the wallet, not on the outside. Uh, so he has his business cards, just like in the other video. Here's his information. If you guys want to check him out, his name is Chris Rose. And the uh, authentication time card. pretty neat really different anyways um, that's what the wallet looks like very thin all right so just like in my other videos I'm gonna pause the video and uh, put some cards and some cash and I'll be right back all right I'm back and there's no cards so I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I will put some cards in there, but I don't want to really expose my credit card and debit card. So I'm going to take it off frame so you guys can see. Uh, I guess some of you guys like the card going inside the slot. So let me take it out of frame. And uh, put some card here. So putting the first card. Not, no issues at all. Goes in nice and easy. Let's take the second card. 
Now the second card, obviously, you know, there's a card underneath it, so it's gonna put it's gonna be some tension there, some resistance. Looks nice so far. Put my ID. Let's put that backwards so we guys can steal my identity. Let's put uh, my medical card in there. The cards go in fairly easy. Um, there's a little resistance there, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's put some cards here behind it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's a back pocket there on each side. And let's put my uh, credit card behind it. Put the credit card behind because I don't really use it that much. Just in case an emergency. So let's close this up. So this is without cash yet. And see, it doesn't really add too much bulk. It's not really bulky yet. I don't know if you can tell in the video. But like I said, I'll do a comparison with my other uh, bifold wallet. Oh man, that thing... Phew, that thing's ridiculous. Here's the side shot. And this one closes fine. Um, Chris made a video of the uh, wallet he made. Well, actually, that, that, that video didn't have any cards, but it closes just fine. It shuts fine. Uh, the inside of the wallet is really smooth. It's not rough. It doesn't have that same uh, texture as uh, Chrome XL. Chrome XL. Chrome XL, however you want to say it. Really smooth and really smooth. Is that some scarring in there? Looks like there's some scar or whatever that is. Look at that thread, man. It's nice. Alright, let's put some cash in there. I gotta finish this video really quick because this video. Uh, this, uh, the setting that I have it on only records up to 10 minutes because it's set up in 4K. So there's the cash, US bills. There you go. Fits US bills just fine, and I guess it fits uh, Canadian bills as well if you're in Canada. But yeah, there you go. Looks nice. can't wait to do a comparison video with this wallet that Chris made versus the uh, other wallet I have. Alright, well, I really don't want to make this video too long. I uh, just wanted to show you guys my new purchase. But unfortunately I won't be using this for a while. Um, because I have other wallets that I'm testing out right now and trying to break in. Anyways, if you guys have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Alright, and oh, and uh, thank you Chris for uh, making a very, very nice wallet, very good quality wallet. I'm very happy that I finally uh, have it now. It was a long wait, and I do understand you're busy, you have other orders to fulfill, so... But it was worth the wait, and I'm very, very happy with my purchase. Thank you.